PlayStation 5. Let me show you what's going on. And you guessed it, a ripped off fan connector. We need to get this apart and have to do the trace repair and put the connector back on and go from there. For your orientation purposes, this is where we'll be working on the board. First thing we're going to need to do is some prep so that we can lay down some new pads. We'll drag out our handy dandy pin grinder and do some grinding here. We'll just grind off this loose hanging stuff. And we're going to go as much around this one as we can. We are a little bit limited because it does intersect with another trace. Let's go ahead and get this one. We're pretty much just going to saw off all this loose stuff, or most of it. It's not going to be of any use to us. This is all the same stuff, so it's not a big deal. This is ground as well, but we'll run it anyway. Don't have to run this one at all. That's good. We will run this anchor. We do have to be careful because that via right there is not attached to this anchor, so we don't want to bridge it or scrape it or anything like that. Clean off. Next step is going to require my equipment. So while I set up my equipment, let me throw up my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the associate links in the description. If you go to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. We'll switch you back to microscope. And we're going to flux everything up. You can find my flux in the description under consumables. And we might as well tin this guy over here. Let's lay some solder on the tip. And we'll tin up our makeshift pads. Very good. Let's see if we can eye this. We've been pretty good at it so far, but you never know when the eye calibration is going to fail you. What I like to do is make one that can cover both of these. So that's about right. We are not using copper tape for the adhesive properties. We're just using it because it's a nice thin piece of copper. I think it's going to work just fine. Cut it right about in half. And what's changed about our current method is we're going to pre-tend these and then solder them down. That'll work. Let's set them over here and solder them on. That should be very secure. And yeah, we'll do the same thing for pad number two over here. We'll solder on our tip. Pre-tin everything. Get them where we want them. We'll make sure we do not accidentally make contact with this trace over here. So we don't even want an accidental bridge or anything like that. Got much less contact point over here. So let's make sure it's thoroughly down. nice and solid now we need a couple more strips and try an eye looks pretty close looks pretty close eye him and make sure we're not going to be too wide don't really care about being long i think that'll be perfect go ahead and pretend him hold him down Okay. That's pretty good. This one being ground, we can also do a little bit on this side and secure it down on the two sides instead of just having it flopping like this one. We'll secure this one down as well, but we're going to have to use conformal coating. Pretend our second strip. Let's make sure he's not going to be too wide. Nah, I think it's going to be perfect. Alright. That was going to be nice and solid. Now we're going to have to clean this off. We're going to clean gently so we don't mess up this one. The rest of them should be okay. We're going to have to scrub a little bit because we need to get all this adhesive off. And we will have to use the ultrasonic brush to get under the pads as well. As much as we can. We don't want any flux left on here. You just got to be patient. The adhesive will come off with the alcohol. 
it under the pads as much as we can. First thing we're going to do with the conformal coating here is we're going to tack this guy down. It's kind of flopping out here, floating. We want him to be flat. We will grab the laser and hold him down at least long enough for this to get a partial cure. Hold him down to the board. Kind of where we want him. And give it a partial cure. Just enough to hold him. And then we'll do the full coating. Don't worry about making a mess here. One, solder mask scrapes pretty easy. And two, we're not necessarily going for pretty. Secure is more important than pretty. And what do I say in every one of these videos? If you want it pretty, you shouldn't have ripped your connector off the board. The reason why we're adding this around the pads is when we go to solder the connector, the solder will float or will wet. And we don't want these pads to move. So if it is cured well enough, it will hold the pads in place even when the solder wets. And now comes the hard part. The patience it takes to sit here and wait for the cure. I hope you're getting value out of this video. If you find this something you're not ready to tackle just yet, just a reminder, I do offer these services both local and mail-in. Just head over to micromage.repair, quick free quote, fill out the form, and I'll give back to you personally. If you mention this video, I'll give you a 10% discount on this repair. Okay, it appear to be pretty solid. I'm going to do a little bit of scraping off here just so we have a place to solder the connector. Speaking of the connector, Okay, we got it. Painfully, but we got it. Let's tin our pads. Should solder on nicely. Down, we'll add more solder to them once I get them tacked down. Be well softened. And we need to get the pins. Beautiful. That is one solid connector. He is not going anywhere. That'll do, kids. Very solid. Not pretty, but solid. Now I need to clean up. Next step is to put it back together, give it a test, make sure we get fan spin, and if we get successful fan spin, we'll be done. Fan is spinning, console is booting up, excellent. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one, and I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.